What is going on fellas? It is Dying Food coming back at you here with another video on the channel today for you, the people. And god damn it, today we are making the return to COD World War II, guys. If you haven't heard already, there's been a huge update to the game and supposedly a lot of things that were wrong with the game previously have been fixed. I'm not really going to go into detail about it because I know there are tons and tons of videos on YouTube explaining. And also to be perfectly frank, I really don't want to have to cover every single little patch or update that comes out about Call of Duty World War II because that's not really the kind of channel I want to have. It's more about the gameplay and entertaining you guys, less about the news. And when big news happens, I will talk about it, but just some little patch that you could go read about on Charlie Intel or thousands of other YouTubers making video on. Not really interesting to me. Probably also not really interesting to you guys either for having to see it for the 500th time. Really, to be honest, the biggest reason I don't want to detail what went on in the patch is because I don't really care, right? All the little stats about milliseconds and ADS time and sprint out time and this and that, they don't mean anything to me unless it's actually going to change how I can play the game. And the only way to truly know that is to jump into a game here and start playing. So I did decide to go back and give it another try and I haven't played this game in a long time because like everybody else I'm, I'm pretty sick of it, it's really boring and unfortunately it really turned out to be a huge letdown for me and a lot of other people as well. Which is a direct result of how the game was inherently designed, right? Nine maps, garbage SMGs, garbage kill streaks, no unlimited sprint, they all make for painfully slow, terrible, boring gameplay. And the argument about skill-based matchmaking can go in circles forever, the developer said it's not part of the matchmaking system, but it's really no coincidence that everybody is noticing that there's something up with the matchmaking in this game, and nobody is having fun because no one could get on a streak, and not being able to get on a streak means no kill streaks, and no kill streaks means that Call of Duty is not fun, because kill streaks were one of the most revolutionary things that got Call of Duty on the map in the first place. And it's extremely unfortunate the way they designed this game, because the game is so boring, and look, I can't get on a streak, I'm getting my ass kicked. So let me go back to this side of the map and run all the way back, all the way across the map, through the buildings, try to find this guy again. It's going to take me forever to get there because there's no unlimited sprint and I'm so bored and Jesus Christ, I just ran across half the map and didn't see a single soul. And then look, dead again. So let me go back to the same side of the map I just came from again and do it all over again. And that's what Call of Duty World War II is. I think it's so unfortunate that SMGs are just not viable weapons in this game, because SMGs used to dominate COD. But look, even if you have a gap, like the distance between me and this guy I was just shooting at, you can't win. You can't win against a head glitcher from that distance apart. But you probably would have been able to in Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 3 and other COD games. And it's just really unfortunate what they did to the SMGs in this game here, guys. I mean, really, they're, they're bad weapons. They're not fun to use. And maybe I'm using the wrong gun, because I'm using the Tommy gun right now, I thought I was actually going to do chrome camo in this game, but I can't. I've pretty much given up on that. Playing the game is just frustrating enough, but hopping on and staying on is the real challenge, because I get so bored. Because shit like this happens. Look at that. Look at how this guy's playing. How did I lose that engagement? Well, actually, I know how I lost that engagement. I was using an SMG, and he was using a rifle. But I know from watching some other videos about SMG sprint out times that there's actually two groups of SMGs, and one of the groups has a shorter sprint out time than the others and I'm pretty sure that the Tommy gun is in the longer list of that. But it shouldn't matter. I should be able to use this weapon and have fun with it. That's what balance is all about, and the weapons are not balanced at all. The SMGs, even with this buff, they're still severely underpowered. Maybe I would do better if I used the Type 100 or some other SMG, but again, it really shouldn't matter what SMG I'm using. I should be able to use an SMG, period, and do well. But, fellas, as you can see, I don't think this buff is doing me any favors because I'm really just not doing well at all with it. And look at that, I got a comeback medal. That's pathetic right there. That means you've been dying a lot. That's just sad. And it really appears at this point in time that nothing has seemed to change. Like I said at the beginning of the video, they could release the stats and do all the hand testing and say, this gun went from 250 millisecond sprint out time to 200 millisecond sprint out time. It doesn't matter. Nothing is changing with the actual gameplay. And oh my god. Did you see? Dude, no. Did I just get quick scoped by a guy with a pickle rick icon? Dude, ser seriously, cut it. Turn it off. I'm done. New game. We gotta start a new game. Alright boys, we're back here in a new game. We got a whole new perspective on life here. And things are gonna look up this game. I swear to God. Just look at the... Oh, okay. Never mind. So much for close quarters combat, SMGs. <laughs> Alright, seriously guys, I'm just... I'm, I'm at a loss for words now. Maybe it's just me, I don't know, but a lot of guys have been having the same problems and I don't think that this update has really fixed any of the problems that I had. 
and it's certainly not making me want to come back and play this game full time, I can tell you that right now. It's just extremely unfortunate the way that this is all working out. I really, really wanted to like this game. The problem with this game is that it was a really good idea with piss poor execution. But no one knew it was going to be piss poor execution because we were all blinded by the boots on the ground nostalgia, right? So we all just bought it kind of blindly and I don't know, maybe did it give the developers a pass to not finish the game or not do a good job on the game? I'm not really sure, but there's just something off about the gameplay in this game. Among many other things, weak SMGs are seriously hurting this game a lot. And you boys are going to see several times throughout this gameplay, you're going to see me go across, look across and see a guy and realize I cannot challenge him because my gun is too shitty to challenge him and I have to turn around and go a whole nother route. It's super annoying. I can't even play the game how I want to play. I can't take the routes I want to take because one of my preferred classes of weapons has just been nerfed into the ground beyond the point of any type of return. And I'm really trying to do my best with it, you know? Like, look, I, I peek at these guys around this corner here and I realize there's no way I can take one of them out. They got the MG42 and probably a head glitcher on the right side, sitting there with a rifle, Probably got high caliber on, gonna kill me in one single headshot. It's not worth it. You just gotta turn around and go a different route and hope that someone will run into you up close, but not quick scope you or bayonet you before you could even react. And the part I hate about this the most is that I'm typically a pretty decent or actually probably a little bit above average Call of Duty player, you know? It's not like this is my first FPS game or anything like that. I've been playing Call of Duty for eight, nine years now. A lot of other veterans of the COD series are saying the exact same thing. They just, they, they can't find their rhythm in this game for whatever reason. It just sucks, man. You know, it really feels like it might be the end for new COD games. And the old COD games are always going to be in the books. They're, they're legendary. But I don't know about Call of Duty going forward after this. Because this game has really, really just taken the passion out of a lot of people. You know, big YouTubers, small YouTubers, people I know in real life, people that I read in comments on YouTube. Nobody is feeling it. It's just, for me personally, it's really taken a lot of the wind out of my sails to play it. And no one's really posting about the game either, which I actually think is kind of pretty awesome because it gives me and other YouTubers a chance to go back and post content about old Call of Duties. That's what most people are watching in 2018 is past Call of Duty games. Here's this COD in 2018. Here's that COD in 2018. You know, everybody's watching Fortnite and PUBG and Sea of Thieves and all the other new trendy games that are coming out. But it's really no secret that Call of Duty is struggling with views on YouTube this year. And we're going to have to see what happens because, you know, Call of Duty is never going to die completely. But with the other competition going on right now, it's it's seriously getting overshadowed very, very hard by several other games. It's not even just like one game. There's many other games out right now that are really popular on YouTube and they're building their own communities. And it just so happens that a lot of members of those communities and those YouTubers used to do Call of Duty. So what are we left with? Basically nothing, right? So guys, in conclusion with this patch, I think that I have two options. I can give the game up altogether, or I just have to adapt to a new style of playing, because SMGs are over. It's done. I'm not even going to attempt to do it anymore. It's too frustrating, because every time I come back, I get angry and have to leave again for a, for a month or whatever. So I think I need help from you, my loyal viewers. What, what should I be using in this game? I was thinking about doing the Volkstrom Gewehr. I've heard pretty good things about it. I haven't unlocked it yet. I haven't even tried it. Like I said, I was going for Chrome SMGs, but that's just not going to happen. So I think I'll go and go back to rifles and give it another shot using the rifles. And I think that's just, you know, sadly, it's coming down to that's how I have to just play the game is use rifles and infantry and play a little bit slower than I want to, which sucks. But I'm going to give it a shot because I don't want to give up altogether just yet. And I know the DLC is coming out for Xbox this week. I play on Xbox, so I haven't even gotten to play the new map. So hopefully it can breathe a breath of fresh life into this game for me. I don't know. We'll have to see what happens. But yeah, guys, I will definitely make an update video about that. We'll probably do another gameplay commentary with the Volkstrom Gewehr because every time I see gameplay of it, it looks like it's a pretty good weapon. So I do want to try that out. But guys, you know, now I've shared my opinion with you and I want to hear from you. What do you think of this new update? Has it changed the way that you play it all? Do you play better or worse with certain classes or SMGs or anything like that? And, oh, look at this right here. I got the glide bomb. This guy's coming near me. <laughs> I just killed the both of us. Because I am not giving him a free kill. I would rather I would rather take myself down than, than let that happen. But yeah, dudes, if the update has worked out for you, I'm really curious to hear how. And I want to know what kind of classes you guys use. Because, like I said, I don't want to give up on this game quite yet. Even though it is extremely discouraging. <laughs> 
you know? I mean, God, you, you come back and you expect things to change and it's just more of the same, man. But such is life. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for the video. Thank you for watching. Like I said, let me know what's going on in the comments down below with the update on your end. I want to know how it's going for you guys. You know, obviously for me, it's going pretty shitty, judging off my score here. But that's pretty much it. Till next time, guys. Again, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. And if you like this video, help a brother out by leaving a thumbs up. And also, subscribe to this channel for more mind-blowing, astonishing gameplay commentary. And I will see you in the next one.